To use the microscope, first you have to turn it on. And there are two different switches. The first is at the back in the base. And the second one is right here. And then once you turn it on, you then also have to turn the light on. Um, and then you can start adjusting the light with this knob here. And then on the left side, you can open and close. And then you have the bright field, rhythm, contrast, and dark field. Um, and just play around with those. You then this knob right here is the zoom. The large knob up here, and this one at focus. So this is large and this is you second, so you get better focus. Um, Right here, if you're going to use the um, UV, you have to have it on GFP3, but normally you just want to turn it so that that's off. To take pictures with the microscope, you on the computer, you first have to turn the microscope on before you start the software. You have to make sure you get both switches, and then you open up the LAS V4 application. So the way I usually do it is you first, on the side of the microscope, you see viz and doc. Viz means you can look through it, and doc means it'll show up on the computer. So I first focus on what I want the picture to be, looking through the microscope, and then switch it to doc to readjust and then take the picture. So if I have my picture, I can then turn it to doc, and it'll show up on the computer screen. To make sure that I save it in the right place before I take a picture, I have to go to the browse and find the file I want it to be in. So if I put in mine, and then you have to hit this right here. It says set capture location. You then go back to acquire, and you have to defocus it a little bit because there's some difference. And then once you have the picture that you want, you have a camera. Enhance contrast, anything, you can use those. You can just also do it yourself. You can do white balance, which is on here. And it'll also help you get a sharper image. And then you come down to here where it says acquire image. And you click on that. And then once you have your picture, um, if you go back to browse, you'll see it right there. And you can rename it. Anything you want. Um, and if the program freezes, because it freezes sometimes, you just shut out of it and open it again. So if you take that picture, you can then go to a different field, view, and take a couple more.